Many HVAC systems within commercial buildings are oversimplified. They turn on, cool or heat the zone, then they turn off. What this often results in, however, is hot and cold spots, inconsistent dehumidification, decreased occupant comfort, and inefficient energy usage. A way to solve these issues is to use a VAV system. VAV, or variable air volume, systems work smarter, not harder. Rather than provide a space with a constant air volume and variable temperature, the equipment can provide the system with a constant temperature. Then let a system of dampers decide how much to heat or cool their respective areas. So let's go up on the roof and look at an example. Here we have a typical rooftop unit, and this is where everything begins. It's got a fan in here and the filters and the and here's where the air gets tempered to 55 degrees, typically. And it pushes that uh, air down through the ductwork, which then the VAVs will control uh, the flow into each individual rooms. And if there's too much back pressure, we normally have what we call a bypass damper, where the air will, will go start down the duct and then come right back into the um, rooftop unit. And that is typically how that works. It keeps a, a normal pressure on the ductwork so that the VAVs have a supply of air. And then we'll go down and look at one of the VAVs and look at how it controls each individual room. Okay, here we have a VAV zone controller. For this particular room, it's uh, getting air off of this main trunk line and feeding it into this room for the specific airflow that this room needs to stay at temperature. And if you look on down the line, we have another VAV box down there for the next room, which regulates the airflow to keep that room at its specific temperature. And if all of these VAVs uh, close at, to minimum uh, position, they're all communicating to the, to the central HVAC equipment. Uh, and that equipment can then slow the fan down uh, to save more energy uh, because the airflow is not needed. But once they keep uh, calling for more cooling, that air fan can then speed up and it does that through the communication of all these VAV devices. Okay, here's a very typical VAV box. Um, and as you can see, the dampers on the inside, and this is where we would place the uh, actuator. Uh, the, like the BAC 9001 or the BAC 8001 and you would place it on here and it would then control this damper by opening and closing it. And here are your um, pickup tubes which uh, indicates how much flow is going through the box and that's how it knows what position that damper to be in. With this added control we have benefits such as precise temperature control, increased comfort in individual zones, reduced compressor wear, a lower energy consumption, less noise, and additional passive dehumidification. The critical component to these VAV boxes and systems is the actuator itself. Here at KMC Controls, we offer a variety of VAV controllers. Check out our link in the description for a video in our KMC Conquest VAV products. These controllers are fully programmable for advanced application functions in any custom application that you see fit. They also include integrated alarming, trending, and scheduling to make for powerful edge devices that can be controlled via a BAS system. We also offer simpler, configurable product, the Simply VAV line of controllers. As buildings are becoming smarter, so should our HVAC system. Having more control means more comfort, greater efficiencies, and smarter buildings. To get more information on VAVs and other great industry topics, check out our other videos, and to find any of the solutions from the building geniuses at KMC, visit us on the web at kmccontrols.com.